Well, I am in uh, the Bay Area today in California. Still here, yesterday was the um, VIP Tesla owner referrals thing, which was really cool. Anyway, this is where I grew up. I mean, not right there, I mean, in a house, but um, here in California. And I'm actually at my um, parents' house, and I wanted to show you their solar panel that they have um, out on the hill behind our house. This is a nine times four, so 36 panel, and I believe it's each panel is 250 watts, uh, which means each four of them is one kilowatt. Uh, so that means that this is a nine kilowatt uh, system. And there's a lot of sun <clears throat> in California, especially in the winter. I mean, especially in the summer, but also in the winter. They've had this for at least, I don't know, five or 10 years or something like that. Probably not quite 10. It's not actually hooked up to the house system. It's hooked up to the meter, which out here the um, utility is PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric. And so it's hooked up to the electric meter and it drives the meter backwards, um, feeding electricity into the grid. And then um, PG&E doesn't actually pay them for the electricity. They get like credits, which seems to be getting less and less in year, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how the, how the scheme works, but in some way it um, feeds the grid and then they get electrical credits for what they use. Um, it'd be a great situation for a power wall um, because as um, network, uh, what do you call it, utility reimbursement for um, these types of system goes down, it makes a lot more sense if you have excess energy to store it so you basically can essentially go off-grid except uh, when times when the sun isn't out. They're thinking about getting a power wall actually, which we were talking about um, since the uh, tour yesterday at the factory, which would be really cool. Um, I mean, this hill is gets a ton of sun. There's pretty much no shade trees on it. Um, so it's, I think it's like 9.30 in the morning right now. So the sun goes pretty much that way and ends over there. So there's a lot of there's a lot of time of peak power output for this system. Um, this hose is here is to uh, wash it off so that you don't lose efficiency that way. All that to say, it, it gets plenty of electricity and everything is electric. Dryer, washer, oven, stove, um, hot water heater, and they now have a heat sink um, AC. We actually didn't have AC growing up. So all that is electric. So the electrical use is quite significant, but with a system like this, um, it's not a big deal. Let's uh, let's say this is uh, nine kilowatt, like we said before. So that means, let's say even if you even get um, five peak hours of um, sunlight, uh, five times nine was that 45. That's 45 kilowatt hours per day. I mean that's about what I use actually at our house, which has a gas dryer, gas water heater, and gas heat. Um, so I'm not even using the full electric potential of our house, but anyway, and that's just five hours that um, that would be You know sun at the very top Getting high efficiency you get a little bit more on both end of both ends of that. I mean you could get um, Any sunlight at all you could probably be at eight hours or something of sun so I don't know the exact output that this thing is doing but it's pretty significant so it definitely makes sense to have some sort of storage system to maximize the uh, um, utilization of it. I'd like to get a system on uh, my roof at some point. I have a great south wall. I, I don't think I could fit. I could probably fit five pretty easily on my roof, but um, eventually I want to do a video of how I invested in solar, even though I don't have solar panels right now, so maybe in the future sometime. Anyway, so yeah, here's what a nine kilowatt system looks like and this was put in when it was a lot more expensive actually uh, of course they had the 30 30 percent cost uh, tax credit um, but solar panels have gone down quite a bit um, just in the last couple of years you know not even to, not to mention the you know last five to ten years so it'd be a lot cheaper I 
unfortunately I had to redo my roof a couple years ago, so I'm not a candidate for the Tesla solar roof. But I'm kind of excited about their new just straight solar panels, which they're making a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So I definitely want to see what those look like. Um, and if, because uh, we get a lot, we get up to 15 hours of daylight in the summer. Um, of course, it's not always good sunlight. There's some shade, but all that to say, when we when we have our peak of energy use, which is in the summer, um, that's when we also have the most sunlight. So it would be, it would it would make sense. So, yep. <laughs>